हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर प्रीतिष चिट्टे वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन मेकैनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट इन वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर सो इन अवर टूडे सेशन वी वील लर्न वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ हार्डवेयर दैट वी कैन यूज इन द कॉम्प्यूटर एडिड डिजाइन सिस्टम दैट इज हार्डवेयर स्टैंड अलोन सिस्टम फॉर कॉम्प्यूटर एडिड डिजाइन सिस्टम सो दीज आर द लर्निंग आउटकम्स so the students can be able to apply computer aided design fundamentals as well as the advanced manufacturing technology to industry problems so first we will have the recap of the fourth session so we have discussed like the benefits of the computer aided design system after that today we will discuss the new topic that is the hardware stand alone system for the cad system and the input and output devices first we will discuss the benefits of the computer aided design system so there are the different benefits which are very important with respect to computer aided design system always we can refer computer aided design system uh, for to create a 3d model of any mechanical component maybe to have the engineering analysis of any mechanical component so we are not going towards the manual thing because there may be the chances of errors so whenever we are using the assistance of the computers or maybe the use of the softwares for the 3d modeling or maybe the engineering analysis or maybe the meshing of any component so there will be the productivity improvement in the design so also there will not be any wastage of the time between a 3d modeling or maybe the meshing and maybe the engineering analysis also there will be the use of computer aided design computer aided engineering for design and analysis respectively as i am discussing that there will be the statement that whenever there will be the uh, manual work will be there yes there will be the mistakes or maybe the errors due to the manual work but here in case of computer aided design there will be the assistance of the computers there will be the use of the softwares so that there will not be any errors during the design process as we are using the same softwares maybe the 3d modeling software or maybe the engineering analysis so software or maybe the meshing software in the uh, in the company so there will be the standardization process will be provided in the maybe the industry or maybe the firm or maybe the company so always the, our computer aided design model or maybe the engineering analysis are more understandable in the process for example uh, the, Uh, this more understandable point we will discuss in the next slide so very easy to change uh, very easy for the modification suppose i want to review that particular 3d model yes uh, i can easily review i can have the preview of the 3d model or the engineering analysis regarding the design calculations yes there is a greater accuracy and the preciseness due to the use of computer assistance i can reuse uh, we can call it as a 3d model that is already uh, developed and i can have the modification in that design very easier to read very easier to we can call it as understandable whenever i want to share the particular 3d model or engineering analysis model i can share very easily there is one point which is very important that is more understandable for example i can take like there is a perspective drawing there is a isometric drawing if suppose there is a orthographic drawing orthographic is a 2d sketch but whenever i want the more understandable always we will prefer with maybe the isometric drawing or maybe the perspective drawing and with respect to the types of maybe the geometrical modeling yes there is a wireframe model there is a surface modeling there is a solid modeling always we are referring with the solid modeling so that uh, the inner surfaces or maybe the inner lines or the hidden lines yes we can uh, refer it with the with respect to the surface model or maybe the solid modeling so whenever we are providing maybe the material shading the colors and with the help of simulation again there will be the more and more understanding regarding the a 3d model and engineering analysis so this is a particular uh, particular picture regarding the more understanding in case of benefits of the computer aided design now we are discussing the particular point that is hardware stand alone cad system always there is a use of interactive computer graphics that is icg in case of computer aided design system 
So there are the two components that is design workstation and the output devices. The design workstation consists of the graphic terminal which is also called as cathode ray tube or the picture tube in general and which consists of the input devices. So design workstation consists of the graphic terminal and the input devices. There are the different output devices like the plotter, printer or maybe the secondary storage. Now with the help of diagram how to uh, correlate the different components which are present in the hardware standalone system. Yes, always there is a heart of the computer design system where we are actually the storing the particular 3D models. For example, we are storing in the secondary storage uh, like the hard disk which is connected to the CPU and the CPU that is connected uh, to the, the plotter or maybe the printer where we can have the output. The CPU is also connected to the graphic terminal or maybe the input device, different input devices and all over together these two things are called as design workstation. Now graphic terminal. So in front of you there is a image which is regarding the graphic terminal which is a part of computer aided design system. So graphic terminal in the other world which is called as cathode ray tube or the picture tube. In general in our television sets there is a picture tube. So for example, it consists of diff different components. We will have the discussion regarding the graphic terminal, which consists of the electron gun. And uh, whenever the cathode, uh, the emission of the cathode will be there from the electron gun and which will be passing through the beam focusing unit and the deflection system, which will be uh, passing through the beam focusing unit and the deflection system in the straight way. It is not moving in the scattered way. With the help of deflection system and the beam focusing unit, it is going in the linear direction. It is going into the linear direction and it is colliding with the particular a phosphor coating. The phosphor coating is provided on the CRT screen. CRT screen is uh, made up of a glass or this is also called as the CRT casing, cathode ray casing and this is a screen on which we can have the visualization of the image, drawing or maybe the 3D model of any mechanical component. So whenever there will be the bombardment of the electron beam onto the, we can call it as the particular screen, with the help of phosphor coating there will be the glowing will be provided and there will be the visualization. For example, this is a point of contact, this is a point of contact where the electron beam is collided or it is bombarded on the screen. So at that point there will be the glowing will be provided. This is the uh, property of the phosphor that is a, a glowing as a property uh, which is providing a lightning property for the uh, we can call it as on the screen. For example, this is a particular second uh, point of contact where with the help of deflection system the another ray of the electron uh, which is deflected or which is collided on the particular screen this is a point of contact again there will be the glowing uh, will be provided with respect to the phosphor coating. This is the phosphor coating, this one, this one is the phosphor coating. So, so whenever the electron beam will be bombarded on the screen and with the help of phosphor coating there will be the glowing will be provided and we can visualize or the uh, user can be visualize the maybe the image or maybe the we can call it as the picture or maybe the 3D model, yes the 3D model of any mechanical component. After that, what are the different techniques of the graphic terminal? There are, we can call it as the two techniques of the, uh, the graphic terminal. First one is the stroke writing and second one is the raster scan. So th the stroke writing is called as the line drawing. The stroke writing is called as the line drawing. You can see the diagram here. Yes, uh, it is called as the line drawing. The raster scan is called as scan graphics. The raster scan is called as scan graphics or maybe the digital TV. Now in the stroke writing, suppose I am writing the with the help of pen just like I am just drawing the line. Yes, there will be the drawing the line from one coordinate to the another coordinate. From one coordinate to the another coordinate. Suppose this is my point number 1, this is the point number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this is the point number 6. So whenever I am connecting uh, the different points, whenever I am connecting the different points with respect to maybe the pen, yes, it will be act as an a line drawing. It will be act as an the line drawing. Yes, but 
here suppose i want to create a curve or maybe the arch which is uh, very difficult with respect to the stroke writing which is very difficult with respect to the stroke writing now there is a another method which is called as raster scan always there will be the use of raster scan uh, with the help of the graphic terminal so suppose i want to create uh, maybe a line or maybe the arc or maybe a circle yes there will be the use of raster scan so always uh, the we can call it as the electron beam is moving from one point to the another point from left to the right yes for the uh, creation of the line or maybe the curves yes from the left to the right you can see and for the particular cycle it will be repeated and whenever a 3d model or maybe the curve or maybe the line or maybe the profile has created uh, the cycle will be repeated so th there is one question for you what is the display device in cad computer design system think about this question so the name of the display device in the computer aided design system that is graphic terminal or maybe the cathode ray tube these are the references thank you